Hi there. In this video, I just want to give you a little overview of how to get started just in case you're stuck. If you've already gone through the start here module and all your, you know, course info and things like that, then you don't really need to watch this video. Um, but if you haven't and you're not sure what to do, you're just going to go to your home page. Make sure you're not just trying to work off like a to do list that doesn't generally give you all the information and you'll be blocked from a lot of things because you have to work in sequence. So you're going to look here. You can read your welcome announcement or I did email that out as well, but you can click here to start your module. And this is the same as what I emailed as well as the um, welcome announcement. So I put a little note there. If you already read that, then don't worry. Um, and then you're going to go up here once you've done um, with all that, once you're done with that, you're going to mark as done. You get a little check mark and then click next in the lower right. Kind of move me over a little uh, to the other side. So then we have the next page is course info and you can read all through that. Everything has a grace period of three days without a, um, penalty um, accepting the electronic homework and quizzes you get a three percent deduction per day that's how the system works if you ever have an um, you know a circumstance where you have to be delayed and you don't want to zero after your three days is up for something pick your higher point things for this but right just right in the comments box of the submission that you want to take your, one of your two extensions um, extenuating circumstances are different and we can have a conversation about that if something happens your computer crashes whatever make sure you just let me know and then see if I click next here but I didn't do the task that was asked I get this little message and it tells me I have to mark as done so just make sure you read through the things they're pretty short um, so once you read through it mark as done now I can go ahead and move on you'll get used to doing that it helps you track so what happens here why I do that instead of just view page because if you just kind of browse through you don't really know if you did it or not it kind of gives you credit for having completed something and then when you go look at your checklist it looks like you already did it and students are like um I thought I did that because I got my check mark but you really didn't especially if you had to submit something which in this case it's just pages to read and such but if it were a homework, you know, you mark as done, um, or even if you mark as done just to get through to see what's coming up, you know, you really need to go back and do that. You're kind of paying attention more. So you can always print the outlines too, if you want. Um, so this is what it looks like. And again, like if I try to jump down, I can't get to it because I have to work in sequence. So I have to back to the last thing I did. Now the materials are not set up for you to have any kind of prerequisite or anything. Um, this course software syllabus and such, your syllabus will be coming soon, but all that is um, not accessible yet because you have not completed your start here week. So, or I haven't. <laughs> and so I have to go back up here to course setup. And again, I'll just let you read through all that, but you would, you know, read the content and then I tell you what to do there. So if you are reading it, you'll know, but sometimes just, just a lot of words on a page and it's easier to kind of have an overview with a video. If you need more specifics or any kind of videos on actually what the content is, I'm happy to do that. I can kind of you know, summarize these as we go through and hit the high points. I might make some more detailed videos. Um, and so I'm building those files upon request. So again, here I'll click next, but it tells me I gotta, you know, go back and mark it as done. Okay. And this remote learning support is nice. If you click that, then you get all these extra resources that will help you to um, complete canvas activities and things like that and so if I wanted to get back up to where I was I know exactly where I left off and you can you know look at that anytime so the materials 
sorry about that. I'm outside and the bus goes <laughs> by. So the materials, um, I want to get to that, but first comes grading and you can just kind of look through that, read through that. You're graded per unit, but within a unit, this is the breakdown of percentages. I already talked about the late policy and we don't have any proctored testing in this course. It's more activity based. Again, mark is done. <laughs> um, I don't like to make it be necessarily submit something. Um, your task will be submit when there is an auto release of solutions. So like when you watch your videos, you have to submit those in order to get all the solutions written up because I don't want people just skipping that. Um, but you can try your best. If you don't want to watch a video, that's you want to just do it out in the workbook and submit that and then check against the solutions. That's totally fine. You don't have to be perfect with everything. Just kind of classworks mixed in there too. And, you know, as long as the brunt of it is there about 80%, I'm good with that and I give you full credit. Um, textbook, software, materials. So textbook is free online or you can print it out. It's There's also a paperback version that you can order through a website. Um, there's also the workbook. That is what I mainly use for all the notes and that has excerpts from the book right in it as well and it's very similar. So I don't recommend you buy the book. Um, unless you really want that print version. I mean, some people are just so sick of looking at the computer all the time. So I do want you to read through the book and have those um, resources and examples and things like that. But you can um, probably just read section by section. It's not that long for you. So some are longer than others, but it's, it's not too bad, I think, reading that one online. Um, but that's up to you. But the workbook, you'll probably want to print out or get printed some way, shape, or form. Also, there's um, you could just write in a notebook. You don't have to print the workbook and write on the workbook, but a lot of people like that to organize themselves. Anything, you can always write on plain paper. I prefer plain paper versus like um, busy paper. So if it's notebook paper that has clear lines, that's totally good. Um, but a lot of times graph paper is just really hard for me to read or things with thick lines and backgrounds. So here we're going to go mark as done. Um, also keep in mind working on a phone is not usually the best. Here's the PDF file for the book. And here is the workbook. That's a PDF file. But I also post each, of, each section or chapter gets posted with in each module with um, your lessons. And then My Open Math, you can read about that. It's an electronic software program. It's pretty user friendly. If you have issues with it, just let me know right away. Mark is done. And then we'll see here where we get to this practice assignment to test out printing so you can go through and print this PDF file so this is your instructions this is how to deal with um, getting a you know picture of something converted to PDF and you would open this assignment I'm just going to preview it here so you can see it's just like you know write your name in there in your class and then you know do the conversions and here so people wanted to show whether they, it was working for them so I made this little assignment and what you do is click submit assignment you'll choose your file make sure you do save it as a PDF file even if you're using that cam scanner so it because it won't take JPEGs or PNGs so you might have to go to your Google Drive. Um, here's the comments box. I always talk about like if you want to write me a note in there and say hi or whatever. Um, and then you would submit your assignment. Okay, so you have to hit submit twice. Like so hit submit to open it. 
put your file in and then click submit. I'll show you. I'll, I'll just put any file in. Um, those are videos, so it's not the best. I'll just put any old PDF file in there. Put some old homework. Um, and then you can write hi Yvonne or something <laughs> um, and see if you get my reply back. If you write me a note, I, I'm trying to reply back to everybody so they know how that works. It's just like a little run through. And then now we can move on. All right. Oh, I don't know why you can see that, but <laughs> um, Here's all this stuff about the remote learning that'll come up next, but you do not have to go through any of that. You just can go through these first things. If you hit home, you see the most recent announcements or the most recent, I don't know, two or three. There's announcements. Here's um, modules. Same thing, but without the announcements. Okay. All right. So um, I hope that helps you get going and you keep you know how to keep track and you know the sequencing is a little tricky at first and it can be annoying but if you just you know work through it and get used to it it's really pretty easy and it helps students really stay on track and not get lost and think they did something when they really didn't it's just all right there and very um, kind of linear and let me know if you have any questions or trouble with that. Okay, have a great day.